A warm welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Aguncha. Well, barely 24 hours to the presidential election, incumbent President Muhammad Buhari and opposition candidate Atiku Abubakar are urging Nigerians to come out and vote. Both candidates made the call in different broadcast messages, stressing that every vote counts. They urge Nigerians not to be discouraged by the postponement and resurgence of violent attacks. Meanwhile, 12 presidential candidates have withdrawn from the race, endorsing President Buhari as their consensus candidate. Their withdrawal was confirmed in a statement by the special advisor to President Buhari on media and publicity, Femi Adeshina. The former candidates have now urged their supporters to vote President Buhari on Saturday. The Zafara State Police Command has confirmed that six farmers were killed in Safe local government area of the state by suspended, suspected bandits. Spokesperson of the command, Mohamed Shehu, who disclosed this in a statement, however, said he couldn't confirm reports that 59 bandits were killed by troops of the Nigerian army in a counterattack. Well, two suspected human traffickers were on Friday apprehended for trafficking some Nigerians to Libya with the promise of taking them to Europe. The suspects were apprehended after they were identified by their victims during the profiling of 164 Nigerians who voluntarily returned from the North African country. They have now been handed over to officials of the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons for further investigation. The National Bureau of Statistics has revealed that Nigeria generated 1.1 trillion naira as value-added tax revenue in the 2018 fiscal period. A breakdown of the 1.1 trillion naira VAT revenue showed that the government earned 269.79 billion naira in the first quarter, 266.73 billion naira in the second quarter, 273.5 billion naira in the third quarter and 298.01 billion naira in the fourth quarter. Well, U.S. actor Justice Smollett has been arraigned before a Chicago court on charges of, stage, of staging a fake hate crime against himself. The 36-year-old Empire actor is accused of filing a fake police report claiming he was a victim of a homophobic and racist assault. He has, however, been granted bail to the tune of $100,000 which requires him to submit a bond of $10,000 and surrender his passport. Well, Nigeria will compete at the Uganda International Badminton Championship in Kampala. The country is represented by three players who are focusing on collecting points in the pursuit of an Olympic appearance in Tokyo, Japan next year. Well, that's the latest from our newsroom. Do log on to our website at TV360 Nigeria for more information. I am Fidelia Aguncha. Bye for now.